Sellers, you have landed on the February 2023 eBay Supersize Sales video. These sales are taken from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month for sales of $100 or more. So make sure you are posting your sales on this thread for possible inclusion in these videos. Gotta put your sales in the right place so I can find them. One quick announcement, since we are now two years in, the 2021 Bolo book has been reduced to half price. Not because the information is outdated, but because I still have a few left and my loss is your gain. This is a great opportunity to grab the book if you did not purchase one or you want to give it as a gift. You can experience the high quality information and photos if you have never seen any of my educational materials. And yes, the items inside are still bolos because when I am designing and creating these books, I focus on evergreen content, which means items that have been bolos for a long time and will continue to be. I do not do hype or fads. Many of the items are mentioned on the Money Making Mondays every single week in my Facebook group and of course in my videos. Here is a quick look at the chapters so you can see what the content covers and it's a diverse mix of items in different categories so it's not specialty items, it's not just clothing, it's all kinds of different items that you might come across out in the wild. And if you go to the listing in my store, you can click on the text that says see feedback and read all of the comments left by other sellers. I'm very proud to say that they are all positive comments, no negatives or neutrals. And thank you very much to everyone who already purchased this book and left me feedback. I appreciate you. You can read more about the book by going to the listing. The link is below the video. I just wanted to let you know about this special in case you have been on the fence about buying the book and to give my audience a great deal on information that is still valuable and will help you make more money. These will not be reprinted, so when they're gone, they're gone. Okay, on to the supersize sales. We're going to start with Rebecca Metti Carter. Purchased this vintage needlepoint mounted on a board for $3 at a church rummage sale. Sold on best offer of $100 plus shipping. It took nine months to sell. So there's no brand listed because how would you know? It could just have been handmade without a pattern. This is a vintage needlework needlepoint floral on black mounted 46 inches by 18 inches and it sold for $100 even. George Kelly bought this lighthouse lens lamp at Goodwill for $4.99. Took about three weeks to sell accepted a best offer of a hundred dollars and that is a cool item. I'm wondering George if you just knew what it was or if you had to look that up and figure it out because I would not have known what that is. <laughs> Jody Clark paid eleven dollars and four cents at Goodwill for this RAV4 cargo cover sold in 18 days for $103.96 plus free shipping. And I have one of these in my Kia Sorento. Hmm, maybe I should look up how much it's worth. <laughs> 2019 to 2021 Toyota RAV4 cargo cover. Kim Smith paid $6.99 at Goodwill, sold on best offer of $105 listed at the end of November. The item is Sitka Ascent Pant 
pyrite men's size 36 by 33 stretch hunting pants a hundred and five dollars Terry Wilcox and yet again I found another vintage large Hartman suitcase at the local Goodwill for five ninety nine I only had it listed for about two weeks and sent out an offer of a hundred and nine dollars and they took it I just had to find a big box and I shipped it FedEx so yes this is definitely a bolo Hartman rolling luggage tweed travel suitcase with garment bag six bucks sold for a hundred and nine supreme collections I don't know your name <laughs> this is just how your Facebook account is set up purchased in a collection from some people who previously owned a comic book store that closed in the 90s unit cost is about a dollar thousands of comics and thousands of pieces were purchased in the collection this sat for months after lowering the price several times one sold comp at hundred and seventy five dollars sent several offers as low as ninety nine dollars it sold for hundred and ten dollars in the end this is Lego whirling time twisters warper brand new in box one dollar sold for a hundred and ten Holly Feger I rarely go to the bins I just haven't gotten the hang of it yet but my mom was visiting and was curious what the bins were she is a real trooper so we went only found one thing this needlepoint Christmas tree skirt but it made it well worth the visit bought for three dollars and ninety eight cents listed for two twenty nine ninety nine sold on best offer of a hundred and ten fifty in twenty four hours and I think that might be a typo it looks like it was listed for one twenty nine ninety nine but still what a great sale Mary Alice Fontenot Gray got this set for free I listed it a couple of weeks ago I took an offer and it sold for hundred and fifteen dollars plus fifty dollars shipping this is vintage Starline Baltimore luggage company suitcase looks like there's two of them so it was free and she sold it for hundred and fifteen dollars Sue Ann Acres paid seven dollars and ninety seven cents at a local thrift store I had it listed for 15 months I had watchers and sent a hundred dollar offers routinely no one bought it then one day someone decided they had to have it and paid my full asking price and this is a gorgeous coat women's lucky brand embroidery sweatshirt hoodie jacket that is really stunning cost was $7.97 sold for $124.94 Rebecca Carter has another one purchased a Nora Fleming server for four dollars and ninety nine cents at Goodwill this fish insert was inside turns out it's rare and discontinued I saw one was being auctioned so I followed the auction and when it ended I listed mine for a buy it now of five dollars less than the auction and did not offer best offer sold in about three hours plus I still have the server that has comps of about eighty dollars so this is a retired Nora Fleming tropical fish mini sold for a hundred and thirty dollars and it was part of a set so her cost was less than five dollars Kent Cohn bought this for two dollars through an online auction along with some other not so valuable things sold for best offer of hundred and thirty nine dollars in about two months slight problem with the shipping though we didn't add enough onto the listing dimensions to accommodate all the packaging and lost a bit that way it went to New Zealand so shipping was expensive they paid $45 we paid 63 
oh well we still made almost hundred and twenty dollars on a dusty rusty toy that we didn't expect to have much value the item is tin toy flying saucer crag stand yada 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 Japan UFO works but slightly rusty <laughs> two dollars sold for hundred and thirty nine and rice I bought this large plush at an estate sale the same place I bought a high-value Pokemon plush for eight dollars I don't think estate sales look up plush unless it looks vintage I went back and forth with the buyer on offers and settled on hundred and forty dollars with free shipping I sometimes worry about buyers who haggle so much that they will have buyers remorse for spending so much we'll see it took one month to sell this is Aurora 26 inch Siberian Husky dog plush $8 sold for 140 Tammy Mitchell purchased at a thrift store for $7 sold in a couple of weeks for $140 plus shipping this is Alps easy liner prosthetic leg cushion liner so it's just the liner for a prosthetic seven dollars sold for a hundred and forty Diane Stumpf paid three dollars for this polo Ralph Lauren black watch plaid purse listed it for a hundred and seventy nine ninety nine had a lot of interest sold six months later on best offer of 143.99 happy with that return the item is polo Ralph Lauren black watch mini Boston handbag purse three dollars sold for 143.99 Christy Balcom paid less than a dollar as this doll was part of a storage unit auction I had won sold for hundred and forty five dollars within 15 minutes of listing I'm fairly new to selling on eBay and I'm having so much fun well welcome to the club Christy you are officially addicted <laughs> the item is vintage 1985 my child doll by Mattel one dollar sold for hundred and forty five okay Nikki Hall our environmental scientist and Pokemon collector bought this plush at the flea market for one dollar sold in about a month for a hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping after getting a lot of lowball offers the past solds had some kind of damage but mine was in perfect shape so I listed it higher this is 2004 South Park goth Stan that's the character's name eight inch plush one dollar sold for a hundred and fifty Katie Loftus a while back someone posted that they sold George's Briard glasses for over a hundred dollars on this thread the very next day I found 12 at an estate sale I decided to go for it and paid sixty dollars for all of them I listed them in sets of two four and six I just sold the last set of six after ten months now that it's all said sold and shipped I profited hundred and seventy dollars on the twelve glasses as a nice bonus they looked really pretty on my shelf while I was waiting for them to sell so this is a set of six signed Georges Briard blue and gold paisley highball glasses beautiful beautiful mid-century modern item we've got Pat Luhu Pat is that your real name or is that just your Facebook stage name <laughs> bought at Goodwill for $5.99 I had it listed for $185 it sold in just a few weeks I accepted an offer of $160 plus shipping and handling I learned about small compact appliances for RVs on your YouTube channel oh great so this is a black and Decker space maker under the cabinet can opener six bucks and it sold for a hundred and sixty dollars for a can opener 
Next up is Emily Smith, new Bolo brand. This sale made up for low and slow sales this week. Paid $2.49 on half price day at a local thrift. Sold in five days for best offer of $162. Thrilled. Okay, the item is Ennis Mien men's size extra large Donegal linen half zip sweater. $2.50 sold for $162. Donna Shirley found these in a bag of plush at St. Vinny's. They looked vintage, so I grabbed them. Paid approximately $1.33 each, so $6.65 for this lot. There was nothing in solds for a lot, but one puppet had sold for close to $70. I guessed and estimated a price and went with $169.99. It sold after two and a half months for asking price. This is my first over $100 profit and it feels great. And congratulations, Donna. I've seen you posting a lot. So you worked for this and it happened. Vintage Sesame Street Hand Puppets Lot, 1976 to 2012. Jim Henson Muppets, $6.65 and it sold for $169.99. Okay, Karen Warren bought two Chanel bedspreads over the summer at a yard sale for $10 each. Both had some damage, took me several weeks to list because they were a challenge due to size. Cleared out my living room one day and got my photos done. First one sold fairly quickly for $170. This yellow one had lots of interest but took a few months and finally sold. And it sold for $237.49. Vintage Chanel Double Peacock Yellow Cotton Bedspread. That is another gorgeous mid-century modern item. Those uh, Chanel bedspreads, they look like cake. <laughs> They're uh, textured and the patterns are just gorgeous. So that was an amazing flip. Okay, Myra Como paid $20 at an estate sale and sold for $175 plus shipping in about three months. I love finding James Avery. So that is 925 Sterling Silver Seashell Cross Pendant Retired. $20 bucks and sold for $175. Andy Marsh. Did not give us much information, <laughs> but he paid $4 for this somewhere. Monopoly Emergency Medical Services Edition 2010 Board Game. Sold for $179.95. Aaron Wilson paid $8 at Goodwill. Gently used with tags. Sold in two to three months. This is Texas Tech Red Raiders Golf Bag, Letterman 2 Club, Insulated Cooler Cart. So a lot going on with this golf bag. $8 and sold for $186.75. Lynn Merritt found these damn Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus trolls at a local thrift store three weeks ago at $10 each. So $20 for the pair. Sold at full price of $195. Damn trolls are in Suzanne's Bolo book. Ah, uh, yes, they certainly are. This sale happened on New Year's Day. Christmas sells year round. So $20 and they sold for $195. Right after Christmas. Okay, Brian Rappaport paid $6 at an estate sale in March, sold for best offer of $200 plus shipping. Pendleton Beaver State Blanket. That is a good find. That's an excellent find. $6 sold for $200. Okay, Rosanna Smoker 
I found this gunny sacks dress at a garage sale last summer for five dollars. There were a couple of ladies running the sale and were so excited that I was interested in the dress. One said she had worn it to prom in the 80s. Another said she had dyed it the peach orange color and wore it to a renaissance fair. I love hearing the background of things I purchase. I waited a long time to list it, finally did it, and tried to disclose all the details. I had it listed for $225, but accepted an offer of $200 plus shipping after about two weeks. And it's going overseas. The item is Vintage 1980s Gunny Sacks Jessica McClintock Dress, size 13. $5 sold for $200. Joshua Harrison. I bought this at a yard sale for $10 in working condition. It was a mess and was challenging to clean. I had to take it apart and clean it and put it back together and it was stunning afterward. It sold 11 days after listing. I took a best offer of $200 and they paid $90.05 in shipping. It's vintage from the 1940s. It plugs into the wall, made of brass, and the brand is Underwriters Laboratories. I would buy this again in a heartbeat. So there you see that very cool looking lantern, vintage 1940s. 10 bucks sold for 200. Jennifer Elliott found at Goodwill for 8.99, took an offer of $220 plus shipping after about 6 months. He even had a hairline crack on one leg that was disclosed. Apparently, Nipper is a collectible figure which I only learned after using Google image search. So the item is vintage Rare 13 inch Nipper RCA Record Ceramic Dog. $8.99, sold for $220. Melanie Johnson, I have heard of this brand on here before, but never had found it. Came across my first one in a thrift store, paid $5, sold in a day for full asking price with free shipping. And this is Salad Master Titanium stainless 10 inch skillet five dollars sold for 249 dollars and 95 cents for a frying pan <laughs> carol hollis i found this on the side of the road <laughs> so it was free to me <laughs> i love that i was out buying an encyclopedia set that is listed but still sitting sent offers for 250 and after two weeks or so they accepted and paid my husband used a huge box to send it and it used two rolls of tape to secure the box a little more work than normal but glad to free up some space and very happy with the profit teamwork this is a vintage recaro passenger front seat for toyota tacoma it was free and she took an offer of $250. All right, here's KC. He always pops up on these videos. $20 at the thrift store, sold for $290 on offer after being listed at $350 for two years. So KC, in addition to a great eye for reselling, you also are blessed with patience. This is a vintage Patagonia deep pile jacket. $20 sold for $290. Okay, Rachel Hilst. I paid $15 for these three vintage haul canisters at a local thrift store. It took approximately one month to sell for full asking price. Vintage haul pottery canister set blue. Those are quite stunning. What a pretty color. $15 sold for $299.99. Candace Cochran. And Candace, I'm going to tell you, I'm really jealous because I lived in Georgia for most of my life. This is my 20th year 
on eBay. And I've never seen a master's pillow, but you better believe I'm looking for them now. Candace said, I bought this at the Goodwill Bins for $2. It sold for full asking price. I looked up comps and one had recently sold for $254, so I priced it higher. This is a Masters Augusta National Golf Pillow. $300 for a pillow. Um, yes, as Scarlett O'Hara would say, I'm pea green with envy. <laughs> now I'm going to be looking for these. Don McMaster. On a random trip to the thrift store with my son, who was looking for t-shirts, I spotted this on the bottom shelf of the jewelry case. I paid up $130. I just knew it would sell. Beautiful cranberry poured glass. Sold in less than 24 hours for $319. So this is Crown Trifari Cranberry Renaissance Poured Glass Lariat Necklace and Earring Set. And I love how you have those displayed on a mirror. That is very creative. Okay, Jody Clark paid $1.99 at a thrift store for this Mirabilia The Lady of the Flag cross stitch pattern. Sold in five days for $325 plus free shipping. I had best offer on the listing, but buyer paid full price. So there you can see Mirabilia The Lady of the Flag cross stitch pattern only. Wow, that must be extremely rare. $325. Matt Conaher. We've got a lot of new people this time, so welcome to the $100 and over club. Sold for full asking price plus shipping in less than 24 hours. Bought at an estate sale. We don't have many in the winter months in Wisconsin. We were thrilled to find many good buys there. Paid $15. Sold for $349.99 plus shipping. This is a Magnavox DVD recorder digital tuner remote with instructions. It's in the box. $15. Sold for just under $350. Jeff Bogart. First time poster. Recently started reselling on eBay after a couple of years away. Bought this Saturday at Goodwill for $1.09. Sold it in less than 24 hours for full asking price. It was being put on the shelf as we walked around the corner. All told, we have 30 pieces of this Ray Dunn pattern. Each piece was just over a dollar. So this is an 8 inch bowl, Ray Dunn. Sold for $399.99 and it cost a dollar. And it's just a plain white bowl. But it is Ray Dunn, and it's probably her early work, so it's more valuable. Um, again, I am envious of this sale. <laughs> I want to find that. Okay, Eileen Cole, a.k.a. The Book Lady. My second highest sale ever. I only have about a dollar per book, so $14 into this book lot from a private pick. It is not a full set, which is almost impossible to find. There was only one other set with 14 of the volumes on Worth Point for $400, and they did not have the dust jackets. Dust jackets can really add value, so I decided not to take a penny less than $450. I had many offers for $200 to $300 and declined them all. I put them on sale for $450 and took off the best offer option and still had people messaging me offering $300. I didn't budge and they sold for $450 in four months. This is the Yale edition of the works of Samuel Johnson. $14 sold for $450. Neil Rihanna Flora. This set was purchased from Disney World a couple of years ago for around $65. I waited until last week to list it knowing that Splash Mountain's last day was Sunday before it starts the reimagining process. It sold in four days 
for $499.95 plus shipping. The item is Disney Park Splash Mountain Br'er Rabbit Fox and Bear 18 inch plush set of three new with tag. So the investment was $65 and it sold for just under $500. And our last item is from Cami Langfield. And this was her first big sale as a reseller. So congratulations, Cami, and welcome to the club. And boy, was it a good one. Bought at a local thrift store for $25, sold it a week later on an eBay auction for $650. And Cami? I am also pea green with envy about this sale <laughs> because I've never found a Filson. It's on my list. It's in one of my books. And this is a Filson double Mackinac wool packer coat jacket. 25 bucks and it sold for $650. That is fantastic and congratulations. Okay, there you have it. Congratulations to everyone on your outstanding sales, even if you didn't make it into the video. And if you've never had a $100 or over sale, keep going. It could be just around the corner. It could be the next thing you sell. This sounds a lot like gambling, doesn't it? Well, it's not. <laughs> if you haven't had a $100 sale yet, you will if you stick with it and just keep going. Thanks for watching and I will be back next week with the seller shout out video. Have a fun day on eBay. Bye.